Hello everyone. Welcome to another lesson. Today I will teach you how to perform flange test in Caesar 2 model. So for performing flange test I have created this model earlier. You can check out my previous videos for how to create basic model in Caesar. So let's start this tutorial. So uh, first we have to select the valve. So here I have select the valve and let us double click on the flange test and here are three options from two and both just a second okay and from means it is the upstream end counter flange two means it is the downstream end and both means both side counter flange so let us select both as we wanted to uh, analyze both side flange and here is two method pressure equivalent and nc method today i will teach you just pressure equivalent method so here is a option uh, pressure class gasket diameter and this temperature pressure if you have the data sheet you can put this value manually or you can select uh, values from the file so i have used 30 pound glass flange so let us select 300 and here is the classes based on the material so 1.1 is basic carbon steel and uh, the other are for more alloy steels and all you can check out the code for better understanding and when i select the code you can check that all the temperature pressure are automatically inputted and now let's run our file okay so error check there is no error and go to our static load case and let's do it and it is our static load case editor and for enable flange test option we have to provide the temperature for which we are wanted to do flange analysis so you can select in this way or you can click group edit and just select for which condition you want to do the analysis just select i'm um, selecting operating case and here flange analysis temperature and let's select tmax and again i wanted to do for the sustain condition also so let's select sustain condition and analysis temperature tmax and let's save and analyze okay now let's select our operating condition and pressure equivalent and let's run and it is our result you can see that our ratio is more than 100 percent so the uh, result doesn't pass <coughs> and here is the axial force and the bending moment and then based on this the pressure equivalent is calculated which is more than the allowable pressure so our test uh, uh, failed so this is the bending moment is uh, more so we have to reduce the bending moment so first of all let's check the sustain condition okay so here you can see that the bending moment is much less and hence our test case is passed so let's go to our model and we want to reduce the a bending moment so let us put some guide here for that let's break our upstream and downstream element and i am just providing here a guide so let's double click on the restraint and place our supports and for how to place support you can check out my previous video i am just providing a basic y plus y direction support and a lateral guide and do the same for the downstream end so plus y and add a guide so guys this model is only for educational purpose this is not a very practical model so i am just showing you how to reduce the bending moment and let's run again okay now let's select the operating condition and pressure equivalent and now you can see that the ratio is well less than the 100 percent so our test case is passed and the bending moment is also reduced so this is okay i guess so i am closing the window and 
let's go to model and so that's it for today and in my next tutorial i will teach you how to do the analysis as per the mc method okay so thank you guys please like and subscribe if you want to support my channel